When I was at the supermarket the other day and I came across this pre-packaged cauliflower rice and I couldn't believe how much it cost. It costs so much for this little bag, yet I can buy a whole cauliflower for even less and get five times the amount. And as part of my diet, I've been making my own cauliflower rice, so I'm going to show you how to do it so you can save so much money and be healthy at the same time. Now cauliflower truly is one of those very versatile vegetables that are very healthy for you and are perfect in so many dishes. I'm going to show you how to make cauliflower rice easily at home. And the big difference is cauliflower has roughly 25 calories per cup as opposed to regular white rice which has about 250 calories a cup because it's full of all those starch and carbs. And I'm also going to show you three easy ways to cook them. So to start this off, we're going to start with the obvious and that's a cauliflower. Now I've already removed the leaves that are on the outside. And at the same time, we're just going to carefully remove the stem because we don't need that hard bit in there. So we're just left with all the excess florilets. So you can just cut this up, put it in the compost bin or just throw it away. Okay, for this next part, I'm going to use a simple grater. Now you can use a food processor if you like, but this literally takes just a minute or two and it will save on all that excess washing up because you've only got the one thing to wash up. So there's a number of different sections to the grater. So you've got these, this really fine one. Now I find that's a bit too fine. So I like to go for the larger version. So basically just get the head of your florilet and we're just going to just up and down like this. Just be very careful with your fingers, of course. And that's it. It's that simple to make your own cauliflower rice. So it literally takes just a few seconds and it's very cheap compared to the pre-made stuff that you buy in the shops. And look at all that cauliflower rice that I got out of one cauliflower. Literally over four to five times the amount of the packaged stuff. And the one cauliflower actually cost less than the packaged stuff that I showed earlier. And I was able to get about five, at least five times the amount from it. So there are a number of ways to cook the cauliflower rice. Firstly, and the easiest, is to microwave it. And we're going to use a microwave safe dish. So we're just going to add about a tablespoon of water and your desired amount of cauliflower rice. And it's that simple. Now you can do as much as you want or as less as you want. So we're going to place this into the microwave on high for four minutes and that should give us the right texture that we're after for this rice. Okay, so just taking out the microwave, you can already smell it and well, it's nice and warm, whoop, bit hot, but I can already feel the texture is perfect. Now, depending on how much you have, of course, you may want to up the time or lower the time. Just experiment, but it's really worth the effort. Now, another way to cook our cauliflower rice is on the stove. Now, you can use a fry pan. Personally, I like to use a pot because it is a lot lighter and fluffier than normal rice. So it just you know, it makes a, cl a cleaner endeavor. So you don't have bits flying everywhere. So in the pot, I'm just going to add just a little bit of olive oil. Not too much. And about a cup of our cauliflower rice. And just simply cook it over this medium to high heat for about say four to five minutes, just until it's all softened up. So we're basically making the fried rice version of cauliflower. Now, once you got it to the right consistency, you can do it however you like with fried rice, flavor wise. For example, you could want to add some salt and pepper or you can just add just some soy sauce. So it's completely up to you on how you flavor it. Just however you normally flavor your fried rice. And there we have a delicious side of fried cauliflower. Literally took about four minutes to fry up and it's so, so simple. So you don't have all that extra steaming in preparation. So it's not only so much healthier, it's a lot faster and easier. Now the final way and my personal favorite is to bake our cauliflower rice. Some would call it baking, some would call it roasting. Same thing. So you just grab 
your cauliflower, we're just going to spread it over our baking tray dish. And just with some olive oil, give it a light sprinkle. Just make sure it's all nice and coated. And evenly spread out. And we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius or about 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes. And what we're going to do is halfway through that 12 minutes, just take it out, give it a good mix up like so. And make sure it's all evened out again and put it in for another six minutes. So we have the microwave version, which is incredibly simple. It's fat free, it takes just a few minutes and you have that lovely steamed version of cauliflower rice. Then we have our delicious stir fried version. Got a bit of olive oil into it, which is still pretty healthy and it's easier to flavor just like you would normal fried rice so you can season it any way you choose. And finally my personal favorite which is roasting our cauliflower rice. Now this slowly dries out the rice but it also gives it a light fluffy texture which really enhances the lovely flavor. And we still have all this extra cauliflower rice left over. So I paid about three dollars for this whole cauliflower and what I have left over is still pretty much exactly what was in that packet from the shops. So you can see how cheap and easy it is just to make your own cauliflower rice at home. So it really has everything going for it. It's cheap, it's easy, it's healthy, and it's simply delish.